all stand for prayer, please? Thank you, Jesus. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the privileges of being in the body of Christ. We have come together to watch the miracle of your love and the power of your spirit work in the lives of these two people. We give you the praise, the honor, the glory for the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives to bring us into a place of union with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and union with one another. We thank you for it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. As I read scriptures from Ephesians 5, I want you both to pay very close attention to the words stated here. These are God's words that the Holy Spirit will honor as we stand on them in faith. The world has the idea that marriage is simply a legal contract. It is a contract, and we don't make light of that. But at the same time, it's a spiritual contract. When words of faith are spoken according to the Word of God between two born-again believers, the power of God goes into operation. A miracle takes place when the faith of these two people is released in God's power. God honors that faith and brings the two of them into union. With these thoughts in mind, listen very carefully to these words. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And, it's, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, if the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be unto their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might wash, sanctify, and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loves himself, for no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourished and cherished it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Frank, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Yes, I have. Have you received the Holy Spirit to dwell in you? Microphone. I have. Yes, I have. Rebecca? Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Yes, I have. Have you received the Holy Spirit to dwell in you? Yes, I have. Now, upon this public profession of your faith, you have made known to all men that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is your Lord and Savior. Amen. I make this announcement before this congregation and these witnesses. When two people join themselves to the Lord Jesus Christ by faith, according to God's own words, they stand cleansed as clean before God as Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden before they sinned. This is not just a forgiveness of sin. The Bible says any man who is in Christ is a new creation.